Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming, and sometimes hair, so that sounds like your thing. Make sure you are subscribed. Also, come and follow me on Instagram where I post a lot of stuff you're not gonna see here on YouTube. So, some of you may or may not know that I'm quite a big K-pop fan. It's all I've listened to for about 10 years. So when I saw that Sumi was doing, um, Sumi, 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 um, was doing her skincare routine on Harper's Bazaar, I don't usually react to these, but I had to. I'm such a big K-pop fan. I watched her in 16. I then watched her in Produce 101. Was excited that she was possibly gonna be an ITZY, but she wasn't. And now I think her solo career is the best idea, is the best move she could have made. I loved IOI as a group, um, but she just got her first win with What You Wait for, which is such a good song. I'll link it down below. If you're not into K-pop, please go and listen to this. It will, it will bring you into the world of K-pop. So when people ask if I like K-pop and if I've heard of BTS, for example, I'm like, I don't think you realize how into K-pop I am. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one, play. Hi, I'm Tommy, and today I will be showing you my night routine. Want to come to bed with me? Okay, first of all, my skin is very, very dry. So I think uh, moisturizing is very important for your skin because, oh, my skin dries out all the time and I hate that feeling, that stretchy feeling, I hate. So moisturizing. So for me, that would be hydration as well. So not just like dry skin, but underneath the real layers of hydration. So um, as well as like nice thick moisturizers and occlusive moisturizers to lock everything, to lock everything in, I'd be using like hydrating products. A bit of hyaluronic acid, glycerin, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it'll be interesting to see what she uses. But yeah, that tight kind of like kind of feeling you get after you cleanse. Um, you know, a lot of cleansers say that they're non-stripping, which it is true, but when you add water to your face, to your skin, sometimes you're most, you're usually just likely to get that kind of feeling, but there are cleansers you can get that kind of like reduce that feeling, but it's all it's about the aftercare. One. I had an interview today and I had a long day today, so I'm gonna first take my makeup off. I'll be using a Dude House Lip and Eye Remover. So it works very well on eyeline and like mascara those very thick products it gets it all out so i'm gonna cleanse cleanse it off rinse it off with the remover first <laughs> Other than the giving yourself whiplash, that's like the, a good way to remove makeup from the eyes. You see a lot of people kind of like put on and immediately drag. You may as well be using a makeup wipe. So putting the product on these cotton pads, placing it on for what, like 60 seconds, not even that, 30 seconds, then gently wiping away is gonna help remove uh, most of that makeup and stop any like potential tugging. Wiping of the skin, which like I said, if you're doing that, you may as well just be using makeup wipes. Yeah, I mean, looking at the ingredients, it looks like a pretty basic makeup remover. Yeah, looks very basic, nothing special. Like I wouldn't go out of my way to buy this, to be honest with you. I'm not that gentle. You could tell, but I'm like, Ugh. Oh, and <laughs> no, <laughs> you're not, you're not that gentle. That's fine, as I said, she's young. She's got time to stop doing that. But the point of doing that onto your eye is to kind of like not have to rub like that. And this is why I do prefer oil cleansers as a first cleanse, because a lot of people are like, oh, what about micellar waters? All oh, fine, but if you really don't want that tug, but you want your makeup to come off without having to tug or rub like this, an oil balm, oil cleanser is usually the way to go. I use an oil cleanser. Oh. And this is Senka All Clear Oil Makeup Cleansing. So this is like the smaller version of the product, but Okay, so rub it in and just massage your face. I love this product because mm. it gets everything out of my skin. You know those products when you like use it on your face and then when, after you rinse it off, it gets super stretchy and it's like, <gasps> it feels like it's gonna crack. This never happens, it's super moisturizing because it's oil, I think. So oils aren't moisturizers, but she's right in the sense that with this type of cleanser, you're not going to get 
that stretchiness to your skin because you've not added water. You know, certain ingredients you get in wash off cleansers that could potentially give you that drier feeling on your skin. It's interesting she's doing this as her second cleanse because a lot of people think like a double cleanse has to be an oil and then a wash away cleanser. It doesn't. You can use a cleansing balm or cleansing oil for both stages as long as it's getting everything off your face. As I keep saying for myself personally, I don't wear makeup but I wear layers of sunscreen so I like to do an oil cleanse first, really break everything down rinse that away, emulsify, rinse away, and then use a water-based cleanser. Water-based cleanser. A normal, like, wash-away cleanser. I want to, it'll be interesting to see what she does next. Let's do those, like, K, like, uh, beauty massage routines. <laughs> I used to go see a dermatologist a lot and get like facials done and stuff like that. But these days, I really don't. Oh, pajamas, my pajamas are, okay, rinsing. I'm gonna use my towel, the towel that I like. Ta-da! Okay, that's me bare face. Hello. <laughs> okay, so now it's- She looks incredible, her skin is just not perfect because no one has perfect skin, but it's very, very nice. It looks very, very healthy. It looks very, very cared for. You know when you can just tell somebody has a healthy lifestyle because you can see it in their skin? This is her. Okay, so now it's my skin skincare routine. What do I do? I use a toner at first. I brought my cotton pads, but I do not know where they went. <laughs> hmm. I get a lot of questions. They're like, Swami, can you please give me your like skin routine? You have so like you have like nice skin, but I'm like, I don't actually have a routine, but I think I use a lot of products. That's a routine. <laughs> no, I know what she means though. Like she doesn't have like a set, very strict routine. She just kind of like uses whatever she needs to use. I like to explore my products. So I use this and I use that. I try this, I try that. If my mm. skin like goes bad, then I don't use that ever again. And that's just how I roll, so. That's what I do. And you start clapping <laughs> to get it into your face. Sweet. And I kind of dry it. I use... Okay, so they didn't show us her toner. Um, but yeah, I like to use a toner. And when she was mentioning in the very beginning that her skin feels a little bit dry and tight, as I mentioned, it could be about hydration. Toners aren't necessary in your routine. For me personally, I like to use a toner for added hydration. For me, really, they serve no other benefit than that, unless they got other ingredients in, which in that case, they tend to go to more, more towards the essence stage. And then from there, they could go more into like a serum type product. But yeah, I use toners for hydration. I, I personally like it. Shiseido Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. It's a type of essence. I love essence. I have a lot of essence that I use. Some are for like vitamins, some are anti-aging. I might get some questions. Tell me you're so young, why do you like use anti-aging products? You wanna anti-age your skin. You don't, you don't want it to be aged. So start using it when you're young so it never ages. That's my thing. And then I use this other essence. How many Anti-aging products, unless they've got like a retinol in or something like that, they, they are just hydrating, moisturizing products, basically. Unless they've got something in there that's really um, proven to help with wrinkles and all that kind of stuff, there's nothing wrong with using them at a younger age. All they're going to do is care for your skin when it comes to that moisturizing hydration stage that could help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. So yeah, there's no, this product in particular, yeah, let's see. It's basically just got a load of emollients and humectants in. Lots of extracts that don't really have any evidence behind their benefits, basically, as well. Tocopheryl acetate <laughs> is an antioxidant, and then you have glycerin in there as well, which, to be honest, are probably the only ingredients that really stand out in this. It's got some moisturizing ingredients in there as well, like butane glycol, things that you see in the majority of um, moisturizing, hydrating products. It does have some alcohol in there as well. Lots of fragrance as well. So if you have very dry or sensitive skin, this is probably a no-go for you. She seems to like it. Her skin looks fine. If she does have very, very dry skin, though, people like myself who are super oily, usually alcohol is fine on my skin. If you're finding your skin is very, very dry, it might be something you want to avoid. Steps do I have? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Okay, this is 
how do you even pronounce that fr i have no idea but it's fur hot breeds Fr professional Freyholt? beauty Freyholt? oxygen o2 o2 concentrate hydration and oxygen i guess is really important my makeup stylist uh re recommended this for me and it's really good because she knows my skin very well i mean she's like so me like Moisturizing it is very important, but you should still put some oxygen in your face. I'm like, how do you put oxygen on your face? And she, she gave me that product at first and it was really good. I can't find this product anywhere. I'm looking on their website and I just can't seem to find the serum. I can't find this for the life of me, but um, when it comes to oxygen in skincare, it's a bit of like a gimmicky selling tactic because the oxygen in skincare can't quite work in the way that it's used. It's been used to show benefits to the skin in like labs and hospitals where they use it for wound healing. You don't quite get the same thing in your skincare. Lab Muffin Beauty Science has a very, very good post about it where she talks about those bubble masks, which I'll leave in the description box down below. But you know, I, I do feel like it's more of a gimmicky thing when it comes to skincare, but in like lab laboratories and hospitals, it's used and it works. So I kind of get what they're trying to do, but the evidence of it working in skincare isn't quite there yet. Um, I, I can't find anything else about the serum, sorry. So this is a new product I'm opening Ooh. for you guys. I love them. This is like my third bottle, I think. It's uh, Changsemmul Essential Mool Cream, Whitening and Wrinkle Care Cosmetic. This is this equals like this continues to what I was talking about before about anti aging and wrinkles. You don't want wrinkles to come. You don't want anti age like aging aging to come. You don't want. Your I don't mind wrinkles. I, I'm looking forward to getting like a few crow's feet, you know? I have to be honest, like I get Botox up here just to kind of like stop this like line that I have here, which is still there. I did have it here once, but we left that area this time because I don't mind like a little bit of like wrinklage. I'm just gonna try and find this product. Oh, they sell it on peach and lily. So its main ingredients are glycerin, which is a great humectant as we know. People always refer to it as like the original hyaluronic acid. Shea butter as well, which when I always think of shea butter as like really heavy um, and like suffocating on the skin. But when it's in formulations like this, it's usually really, really light and the product will just glide over your face and feel moisturizing rather than like heavy and like really shea buttery, <laughs> like oily. Got squalane in here as well, which is a skin identity ingredients. I think we're all very familiar with squalane. I love squalane when my skin does feel um, irritated, when I've kind of like mucked around with it too much, used too many actives, too many exfoliating products. Squalane really, really just helps to rebuild your skin. We have niacinamide in here as well, which is great for skin brightening, so evening out that skin tone dark spots, all that kind of stuff. What else do we have? We have ceramides in here as well. Again, skin identical helps to rebuild that skin barrier and help keep, you know, basically the structure of your skin intact. This looks like a really, really nice product. There's so many more, like I, I might actually buy this product. Yeah, this is nice. Skin to age, you don't want your skin to have wrinkles and this is the product for you. Mm. See, this had like this essence mm. type of watery, density, but uh, it actually feels like a real cream on your face. Like it gives you that, that full with moisture, this, this like density into your face. You know what I mean by density? Like it has that, that puff. Mm. Mm. So my skin was dry and now it's packed with moisture. So that's, that's really good. You gotta apply it on your neck too, because you don't want your neck to age. So a lot of people always ask me in videos like, why you're forgetting your neck, you're not doing your neck. Doing your neck on camera when you're not in your bathroom is really, really difficult to do. So I usually avoid it on camera. Then I'll do my neck off camera because it's just, I need to be at my sink. I need to like not be wearing anything because I like do it all around here and stuff. And it's not something I like to do on camera, but yeah, she's right, do your neck. Feels like I'm so crazy about aging, but. <laughs> <laughs> she's so young, how old is she, hang on. She's 19, she's got years before, well, I would have started using anti-aging products at the age of 19, to be honest with you, because you're not doing yourself any harm by doing it. As I said, you could start using retinol at this age as well. There's no harm in doing it, but she's got years before she needs to worry about looking like she's aging. She's also gonna age very gracefully, you can tell. And then, see, like, I don't even know what this says. Like, it's, it's, it's gone, it's faded because I used it a lot. So this is the same company with this essence and a uh, fur hot oxygen O2 cream. If you if you look inside, they have like 
blue dots in there. I think they're oxygen capsules inside. Okay, beauty man. It's, <laughs> even though it's made from Germany, I don't know how I got to know this in Korea, but it's awesome. Again, I can't find this anywhere. I'm looking on their website. The website's very poorly laid out. That's some feedback for you. Very hot. Um, I can't find it again with the oxygen thing. Mm, it's a cool selling, like little gimmicky thing. Um, but that's all I know. So now I apply this on my face. So that's it for my uh, lotion and cream and cleansing and skincare. And I will introduce you some products that I found in Korea. First is this thingy. I know it looks weird, but it's oh called a neckline slimmer. I think I bought this for like 10, 10, 10 bucks, $10. So you know this this part here, like this double chin you get? Like if you like this, like you, you get this. Yeah. You put this on your chest right here, hold it okay. nicely, <laughs> gentle, and you nod. So... <laughs> I bought one of these years ago. I was going through this weird obsession. I've always had this like little pouch of fat just here that I've never been able to get rid of. And I actually have now injections in there that help dissolve the fat. But I've always had this like pouch of fat. So I bought one of these. I probably gave it like five minutes before I gave up and never used it again. It hurts. It's a full on weight uh, like workout. You can feel it all down your neck. You can feel it down here. You can feel it in your jaw. I, I'm pretty sure if you keep up with it, it might help train your muscles. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is, it's painful, painful. It feels like a workout. Is there a difference? <laughs> but really, if you do this constantly, like there is a difference. I love this. It's a face roller. Mm-hmm. It looks like a Y. Uh, you simply roll this on your face, but like I think down. I just looking on the Nordstrom website, sorry, and it's 198 pounds. Why are these so expensive? What makes these better than the like 10 pounds when you get on Amazon? Massage it. And in the morning, I get really puffy. So uh, massaging your scalp really helps with deep puff. And oh, I also wanted to tell you, in Korea, we, we have, if you go to Instagram, they have like those tips on massaging your face. Like you would press here, front of your eyebrows, lip here, below your uh, lower lip here. Oh. And like here. And it, it kind of hurts, but if you massage these yeah. places, it really helps with your face be puffing. Ide Benon. Ide Benon. Microfiber mask. I actually don't want to put this on because I already applied a lot of moisturizing, but I will. Okay. So I've tried a lot of. So I went onto the uh, their description box where they link to all the products. For this product, they've linked to those really awful, cheap, 24 karat gold bio collagen crystal face masks. You know the ones I talked about in my skincare products I hate video? This isn't what she's talking about. This is nothing like what she's talking about. Shame on you, Harper's Bazaar. This is a terrible, terrible alternative. I would apply this on in the car on the way to a shoot or I'll use it right before makeup to make it super moisturized. So anyways, I'm gonna take this off because I'm already full with moisturizer. So as I mentioned before, I've mentioned this quite a few times that usually you would use a sheet mask like this in the serum stage because that's all it is. It's a bit of cotton, cloth, fiber, whatever, soaked in a serum and these are soaked in it. Like there's so much as she's showing, you can put it everywhere. There's nothing inherently wrong with doing after moisturizer because it is just a hydrating, moisturizing step. So as she mentioned, she does it before she goes into makeup, which is probably a good idea because it's gonna give you that kind of like nice moisturized base. I mean, really, if you were just at home doing this, you'd do it for a moisturizer and kind of like locking all that goodness. But yeah, as like a little trick to make your skin a, a better canvas for makeup, it's absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off because I'm already full with moisturize. And there are a lot. Okay, I'll show you. Like, look at all that. That's amazing. 
Okay, so that was it for my skin routine. Hope you guys like it. Hope you're safe and healthy. And I hope you follow my routine as well. For those who have dry skin, my routine will work for sure. So, hope you guys like it. I love you. Cute. For products for dry skin, there are a few things in there that I would personally avoid if I had dry skin. When my skin does get drier and more dehydrated in the winter, I would probably swap my serums out for something much more hydrating and moisturizing rather than, even though they, those are targeted at hydration and moisturizing, they're quite alcohol heavy. I don't care about alcohol, especially in the summer when my skin is super, super oily. It's not something that tends to dry me out. My skin doesn't seem to suffer from it. Again, I'll link some interesting information about alcohol in skincare myth busting down below. But you know, for someone of her age, that was a pretty good routine. You know, she's at an age where really, if she does want to think about anti-aging, she could start using retinol a couple, like once a week. You know, there's no harm in that. But to be honest with you, the way she lives her life, her lifestyle that we can presume from her career, the fact that she does have a solid routine at her age as well, she probably won't need to start using real retinols and retinoids until she's like in her late 20s. Not a bad routine. A little bit annoyed I couldn't find a lot of those products so we could have a proper deeper dive into them. But love her, fan of hers. Her latest single is incredible. Do people still say that? Her latest record um, is really, really good. So please do check it out. Let me know your favorite K-pop artist down below. But that's it for me now, guys. I will see you next time.